Hey everyone, this is Baylor Ray, and in this video, I'm going to give you a demonstration and show you how the GitHub Issue Creator works. So the idea is that you have your client's application or website or whatever you built for them managed on GitHub. And the great thing about GitHub is that you have the built-in issue tracker that if you have team members, you can add them, and you can add new tickets, and you can close tickets from commit messages and all sorts of really cool things. But the problem that I found is that you can't easily add a client to your GitHub repository and let them add new issues. Uh, if you want them to add, if you want to add an issue for the whole team to see on GitHub, then you have to have them email you, and then you have to go copy and paste it. So the idea that I had was, well, why can't we set it up where they create an issue, um, kind of, I don't know, like not even knowing where they're submitting an issue to, they're just submitting an issue. And it automatically gets added to GitHub. So what I'm going to show you real quick is how that how you can actually do that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have my client site and I've already created a page called newticket.html. You can see it's an empty page except it has a link to go back to the main site, but it doesn't have a form yet. So and you'd probably want to put this in the administration area or wherever it is on your web your client's website. But what I'm going to do real quick is I have the application running and you can see in the choose repository I've chosen my great client which was the repository on github and it's given me this iframe code I'm going to copy that I'm going to go paste it in to the clients website on the new ticket HTML page and what I'm going to do is if I go back and go to back to the new ticket page you can see that we have this form and if we're going to be coming from the client's perspective something we might add a ticket for is could you please change the text on the home page and the descriptions where you might actually where they would actually describe that and what I'm going to do is submit a ticket and if we go back to our issues page you're going to see that we have could you please change the text on the home page it's a new ticket but the great thing is, is that it's added a from client label to this. And because of that, you actually get to see that this is not from my team member. This is from the client. And you know that this is probably just, I don't know, it's something they, they've told you. And it creates that distinction. So one thing I didn't mention before I created that ticket is that this label is automatically created by the client or from the, I'm sorry, from the GitHub issues application when they submit a ticket through this iframe. And what I'm going to do to show you that is I'm going to close this ticket and I'm going to delete this label and go back to the issues page so that gets changed. So you can see the label's not here anymore, it's gone. And I'm going to go create a new ticket real quick and put that in here and go to the top. You can see your ticket was submitted successfully. And if I reload this page, you can see we have our new ticket with the from client label, even though I just deleted it. So that's one of the cool things is that you don't have to do, you really don't have to do hardly any work. The only work you ever really have to do to get this set up is follow the documentation or the instructions in the documentation that lets you to tell you how to install it, how to connect it to your GitHub your GitHub account. And then you saw me, the rest of that is just load it up, log in, choose a repository, copy this code, go back to your client site, put it in there, and you're done. And they can create tickets, it gets added to your GitHub repository and it labels it with from client so anytime you want to see well, what are the clients what kind of things they have and you can click on this and it filters by the client so thank you for watching this video hopefully you like it enough to buy it and it's on code canyon and if you don't know where to find it i guess you can go to codecanyon.net forward slash user forward slash baylor ray and you'll see it um in the view portfolio and I'm probably going to set it up as the feature file. So thank you for watching this video, and goodbye.